I am the general manager of a large investment company in Smolensk. Our firm analyzed its possibilities five months ago and decided to invest in the production of pharmaceuticals. We understood that it was a profitable project, which would pay for itself in three to five years. I consulted with a specialist in pharmaceuticals, a professor of the Academy of Sciences, who suggested producing the painkillers they had developed in a gelatin capsule. Such a dosage form dissolves much faster and eliminates the symptoms of the disease compared to the drug in tablet form. The company's management approved the project to produce the analgesic in capsules, and we began cooperating with the Academy of Sciences. The professor consulted on the list of equipment that needed to be purchased for the production of gelatin capsules. I was in charge of purchasing and selecting machines and other equipment, but I consulted with the professor all the time. The purchase was planned on a large scale. According to the production technology, the powder had to be first prepared, then the capsules had to be filled with it and packed in a blister. After that, the pills were packed in cardboard boxes. In pharmaceutical production it is important to control the quality of raw materials and finished drugs, with the help of analytical equipment. We also planned to buy it. The professor advised us to start with the equipment for filling gelatin capsules with powder. Capsulator, which is used for automatic filling of gelatin capsules with powders, or for forming capsules from gelatin materials with subsequent filling with oil or grease. The equipment must be capable of producing at least 330,000 capsules per hour. I started to solve the difficult task by the most popular way, searching on the internet. On the recommendation of my colleagues, the first thing I did was to consult European manufacturers, relying on guaranteed quality equipment. On my own, I chose two companies, one in Germany and one in the Netherlands. Having sent in request to their email, Three days later I received a reply from the German company, which said that they could deliver the machine, but it required the customer's personal presence. Unfortunately I do not know anything about the equipment, so I decided to ask the professor if he could come with me. However, he refused, for personal reasons. The company from the Netherlands wrote in an email that they do not work with CIS countries. The first step was not a good one for me. I understood that there is no hopeless situation, so I continued searching for a solution. I found similar equipment for filling gelatin capsules with powder from two Chinese manufacturers. I contacted one company by telephone. I was answered by a girl who spoke politely. I told her that I wanted to buy a machine for filling gelatin capsules and asked her to email me the specifications of the machine in order to show the documents to my professor for approval. Two days later I received the instruction manual, but it was entirely in Chinese. I sent an email to the company asking them to translate the document into English but I never received a reply. Then I contacted another Chinese pharmaceutical equipment company. The manager warned me in advance that they do not deliver to CIS countries, and all the customs clearance would have to be done independently. It was inconvenient for me, I wanted to buy a machine on a turnkey basis. In the end I came to the conclusion that I would not be able to choose automatic equipment for filling gelatin capsules with powder by myself and decided to turn to a specialist. I needed a professional who would give me complete information about the machine, its capabilities, test the equipment with our capsule, and tell me about the terms of delivery. I did not want to consider Chinese middlemen. This is because Chinese manufacturers often have their own direct resellers. I did not want to go through this stage all over again, so I decided to turn to Russian intermediaries for help. I made the choice of a specialist, based on the following criteria long period of work in the market of pharmaceutical equipment sales, positive customer feedback, the availability of information on the company's website, and convenient terms of delivery of the machine. According to these parameters, I selected three companies. I sent an email request to all of them, but I didn't receive a reply from one company. The Irkutsk company informed me that they do not have their own adjuster, and that I will have to install the equipment myself. This option did not suit me. Only one manager from Moscow was able to quickly give me competent and constructive answers to my questions. I also liked the business-like approach of this specialist. The manager of this company was polite, asked lots of clarifying questions about the characteristics of the powder, the required capacity of the equipment, clarified the size of capsules. After a preliminary telephone consultation, the specialist suggested automatic equipment for filling solid gelatin capsules. I coordinated this option with the professor and we concluded a contract for the delivery of the selected machine. I received an email report on the readiness of my order throughout the manufacturing period. The automatic solid gelatin capsule filling machine was delivered on the contracted delivery date. Solid gelatin capsule assemblies are poured into the hopper. The vacuum conveyor system takes the group of capsules to the corresponding cells of the rotary table. The processes of dividing the capsule into two parts, filling with powder, 
and closing the capsules take place. The machine was made of quality stainless steel. The working area of the machine was covered with plastic shields to eliminate the influence of external factors on the capsulation process. Within two weeks of receiving the equipment, we were able to install it, set it up, and train the worker. I plan to contact the manager of this company for advice and purchase of the machine to organize the production of painkillers in capsules. I am confident that he will choose me a high-quality equipment. In the matter of choosing equipment, I turned to a professional who knows his business and received from the process of communicating with him an excellent result and positive emotions. Experience has shown that no matter how confident you are in your abilities, a professional consultation will speed up solving the problem and free up time to spend for the benefit of yourself.